Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Anza Aesthetics, or welcome back if you're a returning viewer. Thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to be giving you this super beautiful swan painting. I mean, little two swans, so it's a little couple, and I really like how this painting turns out. So what I first did is I started off with like um, mixing some white with some green to create that background, and then I am using a small paintbrush with flicking motions to create the feather body for the swans, and then I am just taking a little brush for the heads as well. Now it's time to add some water effects because, you know, swans like to sit in the water. So we're going to be using some green for this. I'm going to start off with some dark green and draw a bunch of little lines in areas that I feel are necessary. And I'm just going to fill in some of those lines. Some of them are just going to be strictly lines. Some of them are going to be thicker than others. It all is going to be different, but the main focus is to ensure that the curvature goes around each of these swans. Now these look a little spaced out, don't worry, we're going to go in and go in with some other colors to even out how spaced out it is. We just got to leave room for those colors. And I wish I could find a smaller paintbrush because these beaks were not how I wanted them to be, but we're going to just draw some beaks for this ones and then some do some little eyeliner for them as well because you know they got those little black parts of their head. <laughs> As promised, we're going in with a different shade of green, so I just mixed some green with um, white to create this shade. You could just use any green shade you have, but I really wanted to create like a nice pastel green, so that's what I created. And I'm taking a little bit thicker of a brush to create these lines and going into those spaces, just filling in where I think is necessary. But like I said, don't fill in too much because we're going to be using several different colors for this combination of water that we are creating here today. Next up, to make this more of a water ripple, we're going to put some blue highlights in there. So again, I mixed some blue with some white, just like I did for the green pastel shade to kind of create like a more pastel blue. And I'm keeping the blue very close to other lines. Some of them I'm keeping separate, but I did want to use it more as like a highlighting shade and use it as a shade to create the boundaries of the water ripples for the painting because we are going to add some other elements in the background so we just need to kind of map out where everything is going to go first. If you would like to check out the inspiration photo for today's painting, you can check out my Pinterest in the description box below. When you go to that Pinterest, you'll find a board called Art and Drawings, and you're going to click on that, and you'll find the photo for this under the month of April. Now I'm going to take some brown with a very light hand to draw some little branches for some trees that we're going to have in the background. I'm going to start off with a main branch for each of them and then go with a little tiny branch later on to create, you know, the branching effect overall. But the really key important part is to have a light hand because you want to get the little flick at the end. In addition to my Pinterest, I also have TikTok that you guys can check out. I post videos on a daily basis there, except for Tuesdays and Thursdays when I post YouTube videos on YouTube. So go check it out. I post shorts all the time there. I also post YouTube shorts all the time that are very interesting. Highly recommend you go check those out. And of course, I post YouTube videos that are full length on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So we have a very busy schedule here. We are posting, and post, and posting, and working full time in addition to that. So, but we keep it running. It's a smooth engine. Now, we're going to take another color and go in there. So, we're going to take white now to get some real true highlights going. Draw a lot of little lines because, you know, we're going to get some of those highlights in there. But I just wanted to give the branches some time to really dry and settle. So, I figured you might as well work on a different section while you're waiting for that section. It's starting to come together where you can see how this is creating a water ripple effect. Really just flowing with the motion of how the birds are sitting in the water and focusing on that rather than, you know, 
where do I put these lines? Now we're going to take a dark green to draw some leaves first for our branch so that we can put flowers on top of them. This was a tedious process, but being really patient, it ended up being worth it in the end. But we're going to take this very tiny, teeny brush and use that to draw some like rounded leaves with some pointed edges on the end. And then we're going to take a tiny, tiny brush and dip it in some white to create some little berries, whatever you want to call them, berries, branches, something like that. Um, little flowers that are kind of just hanging and kind of remind me of like a swamp moss if that makes sense but like pretty really pretty swamp moss i mean i think spanish moss is pretty anyways but you know just kind of like that drooping dragging effect but we're gonna just add a bunch of little tiny dots until we get a full effect i don't know about y'all but currently it is like uh, end of March here, and I live in a state where, you know, it can't ever decide on what the weather wants, and I'm bringing this up because today it decided it wanted to snow, and I'm like, are you kidding me? We are in March, and it is snowing. I am just so over it, so I've been spending quite a bit of time painting because we've had quite a few uh, little snow-in days that have given me more time to focus on doing this and getting back into crocheting. I do have a little bit of crocheting shorts that I'm going to be showing you guys. I've been working on a Nightmare Before Christmas collection, but I'm a beginner crocheter, so it obviously takes a little bit longer than some who are more experienced and stuff, but that's okay as you can see kind of in the background what i was doing and i just kind of you know finished those leaves and then got in the white i had to split it into two sections because it was just so tedious that i said you know i need to focus on this side first get it done and then we'll focus on the other side that helps me focus on not being too overwhelmed by what is going on in its entirety and i can just focus on a small section rather than you know the entire thing so, so, while I still have the white out, I wanted to create the little dots for the water, and we're going to do the same thing, going in with a million of these little guys until we get satisfied with how many we are. We're using this to kind of utilize filling in the spaces. A couple spots needed some more white highlights, so I put those in there, and then I took a more scratchy brush with some lime green, and I am using a dabbing motion to apply this in a curved motion like we did with the water and this is going to create like a little bit of brush bushes whatever you want to call it i also thought the background was looking a little flat so i added some dark green just kind of blurred it out to kind of create some dimension and then i added some white highlights on that green to you know kind of make it look more like water flowing within those branches and here i'm using a back of a paintbrush with some yellow to create a bunch of little dots that represent some flowers and we're going to mix some more paint to create for our little signature you gotta always you know shake them before you draw and this was our finished product when i put some mod podge on it i put the glossy kind on there i just thought it turned out so beautiful and if you thought it turned out beautiful as well please like and subscribe maybe even comment and share with a friend i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day thank you for watching and hopefully i will see you next time take care